Today I'm sharing a realistic glimpse at what I eat in a day, 15 weeks pregnant. And I say realistic because these are meals and snacks and beverages that I have been having consistently. There's nothing super special about them. They're things that you can easily make at home with simple, wholesome ingredients. I feel like a lot of times these videos are very done up, if I can use that word, um, maybe very elevated, which there's definitely a time and a place for that. That can be very inspiring, but <laughs> I find I am just trying to survive. <laughs> I have a 13 month old baby. I don't have time to be making these glamorous, crazy thought out meals or the money to be spending on all sorts of wild ingredients to put together. So we're keeping it simple, but also nutritious and healthy. And so I hope that you are inspired through this video. Please give it a like if you do and subscribe to my channel if you are new. This morning, I did already have a breakfast cookie when I wake up. When I get up in the morning, I I eat something right away because first of all, I'm hungry, but I'm not like super, super hungry. I'm not nauseous anymore, but I just can't really stomach a big breakfast right away, but I definitely want to put something into my body. So I've been enjoying these breakfast cookies. I will share the recipe down below. And then I just had some fruit on the side and that was a great start to the day. Some days I will do like avocado toast or just regular toast, peanut butter, banana, just something small and quick to get in my system to get me jump started for the day ahead. This is around the time when I get ravenously hungry. And so I have a breakfast casserole baking with sausage, egg, potatoes, cheese, some herbs. And so that is gonna be done here in a couple minutes. I made myself a coffee. We're just playing a little bit downstairs. I do still drink coffee throughout my pregnancies, but in the first trimester, I do not want it at all. Maybe I would sometimes have one. Come here. I would sometimes have one in the afternoon, but it just made me nauseous most of the time. But now that I'm in the second trimester, I'm definitely more interested in coffee and I usually have it around this time, kind of mid-morning. After I've eaten something, I definitely don't want it on an empty stomach. And sometimes I'll actually just wait until the afternoon, maybe have an iced coffee, but I'm feeling the need for a little bit of a pick-me-up this morning. I find that when I'm pregnant, I just need to eat very consistently. So like I said, I'm getting hungry now, but this breakfast casserole is gonna be great. This is gonna last me like throughout the week. I might actually freeze some of it and save for a different week, but it is hearty. It's full of good proteins and I might have some, either some orange juice or like orange slices of some sort of fruit on the side with it. on the last of my green smoothie while I've actually been folding a bunch of laundry and watching a sort of fall decoration video <laughs> vlog on YouTube. And I must say it is definitely getting me in the mood for fall. I'm excited to be making fall themed videos here soon. I'm not quite ready, but I feel like in the next few weeks I'll be starting to decorate and do some crafts probably. So make sure you're subscribed so that you can see those videos. But for my smoothie, I love having these. I have one almost every day, at least every other day, because it's such a great way to just get some good nutrients. And it's something that I've really found refreshing, even in the first trimester, a great way to get lots of good minerals and things while also so enjoying the taste and it was something that hasn't made me nauseous. So for this one, and this is kind of my go-to recipe of late, I do spinach, 
frozen pineapple, a banana, milk. You can use any milk that you want, like almond milk. Um, I also add a splash of orange juice, some chia seeds, sometimes I'll add flax seeds, and then I add a couple scoops of just plain full fat Greek yogurt. And again, I love that the orange juice and like vitamin C in the fruit helps with the absorption of the iron in spinach because iron is super important during pregnancy. But it is, I think it's about 12, 30, yeah, it's 1236 right now. I'm actually getting hungry for like an actual meal. So I think I'm going to heat up some leftovers for lunch. We eat a lot of leftovers around here. And last night I made a huge lasagna, which I've been craving so much. I've been loving pasta. Something about like red sauce has been so delicious. So <laughs> I'm going to go have some of that. I personally just used um, store-bought jars of marinara sauce. You could totally make your own. I've done that in the past which is a really great way to get extra nutrients. Um, last time I made a lasagna, I also added spinach, which is so great. You can really add lots of different kinds of vegetables, mushrooms, even peppers. And then I also love that it has cottage cheese, which is great, like protein, vitamin D, calcium, and ricotta cheese. And then I also used ground beef from a local farm where we get our ground beef, which is grass-fed and super, super just rich in so many good things for our bodies. So I'm gonna have some of that and then I'll probably pick it back up before we start on dinner prep a little bit later. Well, it is an insanely hot day outside. It's like 95 degrees. So we actually went to the pool a bit spontaneously this afternoon as a family. Silas has the day off. So it was a fun little afternoon trip, but we're back home now and I'm working on dinner prep. It is, I think about four o'clock and I'm gonna be making chicken Caesar wraps for dinner. This is a recipe I've been making for years. It is so delicious. And I just mixed up this little seasoning mix that I'm going to put on the chicken. This is just some breadcrumbs, parsley, salt and pepper, Parmesan cheese, and some olive oil. So you kind of just eyeball it. I make kind of like a paste. I'm gonna put this on the chicken, bake it, and then I also just made the dressing, which is just in the fridge waiting to be used. And for the Caesar dressing, I do six tablespoons of mayo, four tablespoons of lemon juice, two garlic cloves, a teaspoon of Dijon mustard, a teaspoon of Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce, half a teaspoon of pepper, mix that all together, and then I add in a cup of grated Parmesan, and a half cup of olive oil and just whisk that together. This is kind of like a double batch because I'm making a lot because I want this salad to last us for a couple of days. But I love this one because it's quick to put together. You can kind of prep it ahead of time and I'm gonna add spinach in with the lettuce and then the homemade dressing, very nutritious, very refreshing, especially in the summertime. I hope you enjoyed this video seeing what I eat in a day, breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks. I will share recipes that I can share down in the description box if you want to try any of the things out that I mentioned. And also feel free to leave a comment on this video if you have other ideas or other suggestions or quick, simple meals and snacks that you've been enjoying in your pregnancy. I'm excited to be sharing other pregnancy-related videos on my channel, but also the same videos that I'm always sharing about homemaking and motherhood. So thank you for being here. Thank you for sticking around for it all, and I will see you in my next video.
拜。